What is up my friends? It is actually the day before I'm making the video that you are about to watch now. Figured this would make it a little bit easier on myself tomorrow. I'm always thinking ahead for you guys, getting things planned out here. So we got some zucchini, we got some chicken over here in the crock pot, just gonna throw some barbecue sauce in there. Gonna marinate these in some Italian dressing and vinegar, let it all sit overnight, and I will see you guys then. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you all soon. Oh, <laughs> I ain't trying to know you, bitch. You'll win somehow So give up on the battle, baby It's hard, I know Hello, good morning, guys. It's gonna get real dark for a second. I haven't even been downstairs yet, so bear with me real quick. Nothing out of the ordinary today. I gave you guys a break last week, so we're gonna go straight back to the puff wheat cereal. Oh my gosh, you guys really can't say anything. Because I know you guys missed it. So you guys saw just a few seconds ago that I got all this food ready. So what I'm gonna do is just throw this on the crock pot. Well, it's in the crock pot, right? But I'm gonna put it on the heat. I'll cook that up for tonight, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So everything is always better in the crock pot if you cook it as long as possible. So I'm gonna do 10 hours, that way it'll be ready. And then I'm gonna be basic this morning, guys. I'm gonna get my Keurig ready. And I know some of you guys called me out on this, but I'm not gonna lie, I used to not be a fan of the Keurig because I thought it was stupid that you only got one cup of coffee, but I have turned into the Keurig fanboy. So let's see what we got here. This is a variety pack. We got breakfast blend, eh, let's see. Donut shop winner. Everybody's favorite mug, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the make it happen is not straight. It's actually angled up, and I picked this up at Marshall's. So I'm guessing that is why it ended up there. It was a misprint, one of a kind. I'm sure this is gonna sell for millions of dollars one day, but until then, I am gonna enjoy it and get motivated every single time that I use it. I don't know if this was in the background of any clips, but everything is already laid out for me. I just got this systematic approach, guys. I'm ready to do it. What's up guys, hopefully I sound a little bit better. Every time I record before I drink my coffee or drink some water, you guys tell me, oh, I hope you're feeling okay, you sound like you're sick. That's just how I sound every single morning, unfortunately, because of allergies. So once I get some fluids in me, it gets a little bit better, but there's only so many different ways I can start these videos, guys. So I had to change it up just a little bit. So over here, you will see we are back to our old ways. Apple, banana, poverty milk, and puff wheat cereal. So gonna have this, gonna go to the gym, and actually gotta do a few things after the gym, so I'm not gonna be home till a little bit later. That's why I'm getting an earlier start on the day. But it doesn't matter because you guys will just be seeing the food in a few minutes anyway, so it will be all good to you guys. So once I get back, I'll show you guys what we're having, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, we're back home. Let me see if I can turn some of these lights on real quick. And surprisingly, it was a really good workout. And I don't know if you guys could tell when I was talking to you this morning, but I woke up extremely tired. And I don't know why. I work a desk job. I sit in a heated office all day. It was a really busy, a busy week, but still, I mean, I got enough sleep. There's really no excuse. But I was just exhausted when I woke up this morning, and it was kind of weird. I'm usually never that tired ever, especially in the morning. So luckily, I got over it. And I think what the trick was, was during my warm-up sessions, I, I could tell that something was a little bit off. So I turn on Kevin Gates, and he's got this song, I Don't Get Tired. And according to this song, he's got six jobs, and he doesn't get tired. And I only got one job, so I was like, this guy's got six jobs, and he's not getting tired. What in the world can I complain about? So, that got me through the workout. It's the little things, guys. See, sometimes it's just music. I actually have a video on this. Is music ruining your workouts? You guys should probably watch it. Actually, I made it a long time ago, so it probably was even worse than the videos that I have out now. So you might not want to watch it. I don't know. But what we're going to have for breakfast, or I guess lunch here, it's almost, oh my gosh, a little bit later than I would like it to be. So 
I don't know what this is called, but I'm gonna call it a pumpkin dip. And all I did in this little blender thing was mix one serving of pumpkin, a serving of yogurt, some xanthan gum, some almond milk, MTS whey, and I'm gonna blend it all up. I have not used xanthan in a really long time, but I'm hoping that that just provides a little bit more volume there. And I'm just gonna be dipping some rice cakes in that. And this might seem extremely boring, but I don't know what it is, guys. I love rice cakes, especially chocolate rice cakes. So that's what we're gonna be having. And we also are gonna have some of this French, or some of this Texas toast bread. I actually keep this in the freezer because this is a hot commodity. I have to go to Meyer, which I do not live close to anymore. I used to at my last apartment, so I just I like it to last as long as possible. And you might have seen me pick this up in a grocery video, and I've been dying to try it. This is gonna be the first time. This cookies and cream cookie spread. I'm so excited for this, guys. If you guys don't know, Oreos are my favorite cookies. I love everything Oreos, so I've got my hopes set pretty high. And once I get it all laid out, I will show you guys. I do it all, player. I got these girls going wild like I'm John Mayer, and I don't need a damn guitar. So in case you guys are wondering, this stuff has essentially the same macronutrients as a peanut butter, just with added sugar, which is alright with me. You guys know I love sugar. So, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna give you guys a taste test because some of you have to be curious about this. I did lick the knife, of course, and I'm gonna tell you already, it has the potential to be better than Trader Joe's cookie butter, but we're gonna have to see. I'm gonna need to get a full bite, and then look at this stuff. This actually came out pretty good, so it looks like a, almost like a pudding, but we'll see that, and I'll let you guys know. Sometimes I'll watch the clips back after I record them, and I just watched that last one back, and I ended the clip with, we'll see that. How do I always forget to say words? I hope that this is just something I do when I'm talking in front of the camera. I meant to say, obviously, we'll see about that. But I just forgot, I don't know, guys. If I do this in real life, that is gonna suck. Cause I mean, I would never know. I didn't even know until I watched that back. Guys, I don't know. I'm losing my mind, but anyway. Let me try this for you guys. So, it just kinda melted on there a little bit. I'm so excited right now. Yeah, Trader Joe's cookie butter. I think it just took a back seat. Anybody else watch TED Talks? If not, you are missing out. They've got some really good stuff on here. They also got a lot of hippie stuff on here. I realize that, but that kind of comes with the territory. So this pumpkin dip is pretty good. Not as good as that cookie butter spread, unfortunately, but I might make it again. I don't know, I probably would add some sweetener and something else to thicken it up a little bit more. But other than that, not too bad. I'm gonna finish these and I'll talk to you guys later. If anyone actually cares, which I'm sure you don't. Anyway, moving into the actual workout, I'm only gonna be using, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? It doesn't make any sense! Mike is fairly a The one thing I was noticing throughout this workout is this bar was tearing into my hands and knurling on this bar. A gift and a curse because you want. Ah! OHP here before I move into some curls. I know everyone is looking forward to this, so I am actually gonna cut it off here and let you guys watch. Oh no! This isn't curls, this is dumbbell rows. No, this is Campbell rows. How did I forget about this? Because no one likes Brandon, so what I did was this. You know you gotta curl in the squat rack any opportunity that you get, and I apologize. One is done, three to go. Let's try this walk downstairs again, but let's put some lights on this time. I, I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking. So, spent quite a few hours editing a productive afternoon in terms of uh, video editing. Probably nothing else, but that's alright, that's what weekends are for. And it's definitely a long process. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those clips I just threw in. But it's a very enjoyable process, so that's all that matters. And I'm very grateful to have the opportunity that one or two of you guys out there actually watch it. It's pretty cool. So now it is time for some food, and what I'm going to try to do is make some... I already showed you this. So I made the chicken, right? And I'm going to try to make some barbecue nachos. But instead of nacho chips, I'm going to be using barbecue pop chips, which, I don't know. I, I just thought of it, so we'll see how it turns out. Unfortunately... I dried out my chicken a little bit, so I'm not perfect, guys. I mess a lot of stuff up, and I should have thrown some water in the crock pot. And the only reason that I even used the crock pot to cook one piece of chicken, because that is kind of a waste, is because I wanted some shredded chicken, and that is the easiest way to do it that I know of, unless you boil it, and then I feel like it really dries it out. 
In theory, this shouldn't be dried out. I should have added some water with the barbecue sauce and we would have been all right, but I wasn't keeping a close eye on it. So you live and you learn, but let me get the rest of the stuff ready and I'll show you guys what we're doing. I should have mentioned the reason I'm using pop chips instead of nacho chips is just to get some more volume. So I'm gonna be able to use this entire bag. You can see it fills up the whole plate and then I'll just be able to add some stuff to it and we'll be ready to go. Surprisingly, this tastes pretty good by itself because usually zucchini has no flavor, but with the Italian dressing and vinegar, it's not so bad. But what I am going to do is grill it on this little grill pan I got over here and add my secret ingredient, Parmesan cheese, and it should make it even better. So we'll see. I've never actually done this, but I feel like it's hard to mess this up. So in an effort to bring this chicken back to life, I put some water on it and then I'm going to reheat it in the microwave. And usually this does help a little bit. I got a whole can of corn in there. Another thing that I meant to mention is I know some of you are going to ask me how I track the barbecue sauce in the crock pot because you know some of it falls off, some of it evaporates, I think, I don't know. But guys, you know I don't overthink things, so I just counted one serving. I, don't, I didn't weigh it, obviously, when I put it all in there. It's not that serious. It's not going to make or break you, so you'll be fine. Just estimate and you will be well on your way. So in my magic bowl over here, I added some shredded cheese and I added some queso cheese, some parmesan, some jalapenos, and some Frank's Red Hot Ketchup and a little bit more barbecue sauce. And then I'm just going to mix that all together, throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to melt all the cheeses and we will be done. Like I remember this time last year I was all alone, felt like I was two feet tall. There's a hundred million numbers inside of my phone But I still got no one to call My life's like I'm really taking one for the team here guys Because I thought that this right there would add to the thumbnail picture And it's not sour cream Because if you don't know, I don't like sour cream and I also don't like Greek yogurt, which you do know if you've been watching the channel. However, I always hear Maddie Fusara saying that you can use Greek yogurt as a replacement for sour cream and it tastes the exact same, or at least close to the same. So we're gonna see. Maddie's a good guy, he wouldn't lie to me. But either way, I don't like either of them, so I don't know. But anyway, maybe I'll just, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. It's only a quarter serving, I can get through it. So here are the nachos, turned out pretty well. I'm guessing they might get a little bit soggy with all that stuff on top of it, but we'll see. And then we got the zucchini. I was hoping to get some grill marks, but that little grill is not too good. But we will enjoy it either way. Maddie was not lying. Greek yogurt tastes exactly like sour cream when you mix it with all this stuff. Not saying that it makes it good, but if you like sour cream, try out Greek yogurt. It's a pretty good idea. So I'm going to have this, and I'm... Very impressed with the way that these nachos turned out. Could probably add a few more things. You know I wanted to add ricotta, guys, but try and take it easy. I know you guys are getting a little tired of it. Maybe not. You know, I went to the grocery. I went to Walmart the other day, and they didn't have my favorite ricotta. You guys always see that same Tupperware of ricotta, you know, that white one, and they were sold out. So I think... I think I'm starting something. I think that I'm getting something going. I mean, I need a discount code. Everyone's got discount codes for all this stuff. And, you know, I don't need all that. I don't need pre blah, blah, blah workout. You know, all I need is a ricotta discount. I mean, nice. And to give you guys, like, kind of a. So you see ones like this that just got way too soggy that were on the bottom, but that's all right. I can just eat those with a fork because you still have these around the edge and the ones that were closer to the top that you can still scoop with. I'm telling you guys, this was a great idea, and you know it's good when it gets better the more you eat. So highly recommend you guys try this one out. I don't think that you will regret it. What up? Let's get this video wrapped up, shall we? So I've got this bagel in the toaster oven, but that's kind of plain, so I was thinking of things I could add to it. I was looking through the fridge, just looking for something I'm trying to get rid of, and I saw this cream cheese in here, and it's kind of like sour cream. I'm not a big fan of it. So I was going to make something that I saw on my friend Raphael's video. RZ Fitness TV and I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with it but if you're not you should go over there and check it out I'll link it below the guy has an awesome channel and he's a lot funnier than I am so I would highly recommend it does a lot of cool eating challenges the most impressive competitive eater well he's not a competitive eater but the most impressive eater that I know on the YouTube in the fitness community besides uh what's his friend's name Devin so check him out but anyway what he did was he took some cream cheese and added some sweetener to it and this makes it a thousand times better so what I'm gonna do is actually add it to this coffee mug just because I don't feel like doing any more dishes so 
This is already dirty, and <laughs> all I'm going to do is add a serving of that and a serve. I don't know what a serving of sweetener is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. going to put it in the mug, heat it up, put it on the bagel, and then we will also get some more food going on, but that's going to be step number one. And there we have a bagel with some edible cream cheese. So I'm going to have this while I figure out what else we're going to have for the night, and I'll check back in with you guys soon. I feel like an addict just reverting back to his old ways. I'm pretty sure I said earlier in the video that I was not going to have any ricotta, or at least I was going to try. Well, you see that that's not going to happen. And I also thought I was going to get through a whole video with no egg beaters, but you see here I also failed in that category. So I apologize, guys. I'm sure a lot of you know my secret by now, but what I like to do when I make a sandwich is layer the bun with ricotta. So I got a kabata roll right here, and I'm just going to put the egg on there, and that's going to be about it. I'm also going to put a little bit of this tomato sauce. It's going to be one heck of a sandwich. On the side, I'm going to get real crazy and have four servings of broccoli. I try to get close to 50 grams of fiber per day, and I was running a little bit low, so I'm going to have that. And the sandwich is looking delicious. This is a big boy. So once I finish this, I will go over the final numbers with you guys, and we can separate until next week. Well, hopefully not until next week. Hopefully you guys watch just more than the full day of eating, although I know some of you only come for this, unfortunately, which doesn't make sense because most of my videos are essentially full day of eating videos, so you should watch every one, but sorry, right, I forgive all of you. So today we are looking at 71 grams of fat, 456 carbs, pretty low there, try to get closer to 500, and 207 grams of protein. I guess I'll have to have a few more of these guys, and this is kind of random, but these bit oh honey, these are something that I eat every single day, just a few of them. I don't ever track them, they have like, I don't know, let's see, 150 calories for six of them, so... 25 calories a piece, not bad, and they're, they're just really good. I don't know why, how I even got hooked on those things, but you guys know that I I don't really eat like normal foods, I would say. I mean, some of them, right, but, you know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like the video if you did. I'm going to head to bed, even though you guys know by now that I don't get tired. That's just a good mental cue, I feel like. If I'm at the gym and I'm feeling kind of sluggish, I'll just listen to the song, but like, I don't get tired. If I'm at work, feeling kind of, you know, after after lunch, you know how you get kind of like, oh, I could go for another coffee. And sometimes, you know, I don't try, I try not to drink coffee all throughout the day. I just listen to Kevin Gates. He don't get tired. And he's got, like I said, six jobs. Could you imagine six jobs? I'll tell you what, man. I need a fact check. I need to audit Kevin Gates. That would get freaky. All right. <laughs> what am I saying? All right, guys. I'm delusional. So, gonna go to bed. I will talk to you guys next time. And that's it, man. Head spin. Get it, get fly. I got six jobs. I don't get tired.